Kia ora koutou. We know that learning at Hayata Community Campus can look quite different to other schools. This movie clip has been put together to explain what some of those differences are and why we have them in place at Hayata. There are three main things that drive our learning design at Hayata. The school values, uh, the learning principles around which we design learning and the dispositions which are the characteristics we're developing in our learners. At IATA, we talk about three main parts of our curriculum, Kopapa Ako, which is when our uh, big inquiries and projects take place, My Time, which is my area of interest, where our learners are exploring um, some of their passions or being provoked to find further passions, and Puna Ako, which is a smaller learning group facilitated by one or two teachers in which our learners get an opportunity to plan their time and reflect on their learning, as well as participate in some social and emotional learning. At Hayata, we have a real vision that we are starting to work towards for our learners to be self-managing, that they have some real control over their timetable um, and the content that they're learning each week. Within each hapuri, the children have been divided into smaller groups called Puna Ako groups, and this is the place each week where these students will come and um, monitor with a teacher the learning that they're doing and um, create the evidence about their learning. In Kopapa Ako, the learning is centered around a concept or an issue. Teachers will begin the Kopapa with some teacher directed activities. Uh, that allow teachers to teach the content and the skills of reading, writing, maths. Uh, students will get a taste of all of the different aspects of the kaupapa and then in the, in the later parts of the kaupapa they may choose some of those issues to delve into deeper themselves on an individual or group basis. As said earlier, we know this looks really different from the schooling system that we went to and the schooling system that many schools still operate under. There's some really good reasons why we have developed our learning to look this way. At the moment in many schools, learning is still largely in silos. That means it's centered around individual subjects and our learners often don't see the connections between those subjects and the connections between them and the wider world. Here at Hayata, we think it's as important to educate the heart and soul of people as it is to educate the mind. It's really important that we actually consider health and well-being, that we consider culture, that we consider social interactions. When we were looking to design the learning for Hayata, we spent a lot of time asking employers what it is that they want from people that might be different from what they've wanted in the past. Certainly the big message we got was about people being able to plan their own time, was about people being able to use their initiative, was about people being able to collaborate with other people, was about people being able to think in some really different ways than they have in the past. We know that there are some big wicked problems in the world right now and that's why our Kopapa Ako is focused around issues and concepts that are going to help us all build a better world for the future that we're moving into. When schools were first set up, they were set up to prepare people to move into factories. They were set up so that people learnt one thing at a time and they could then go into a factory and contribute to a factory line. They were set up so that people worked in rows and, um, and did one thing for their life. The world that our children are moving into is vastly different and that's why we think that school needs to be very different. We do teach reading and writing and maths, but we teach it through our kaupapa and through our my time. We will help our learners gather continual evidence of their learning rather than judge their achievement on random one-off tests and exams. We know that this is different and we know it's going to take a little bit of time to develop and get everybody there, but we do absolutely passionately believe that this is the way to meet our learners' needs for their now and for their future in a way that an old system that suited its purpose at the time no longer does. Kia ora, my name is Tara and I'm one of two kaiadahi in Hikawawa. It's a new dawn at Hayata and learning looks different. Maybe you're asking, where is the learning? Maybe you're thinking, when I went to school, my learning was done in a book. Come on a journey and find out. First of all, we're building relationships with teachers, children, the buildings and the rest of the school. Learning is accelerated when teachers know each child and they whānau really well. 
when each child knows where they are, who their teachers and friends are, where they can eat, organise their gear and go to the toilet, how to ask for help. Children learn best when they're confident, free from stress and are happy. In Hukuawa, teachers are getting to know where children are in all areas of their well-being so academic learning can flourish. Their physical well-being, to know that they're nourished. Their spiritual well-being, knowing that they can be calm. Their mental and emotional well-being, knowing that they can focus. And their whānau well-being, knowing that they belong. We've spent the first half of Term 1 supporting all children to build clear, strong and meaningful relationships. Secondly, learning how to learn. When you went to school, maybe the teachers told the children what to do, and maybe all children learnt the same thing at the same time, even though their needs were different. Teachers at Hayata are learning designers, and they work alongside each child, parent and caregiver to create a learning pathway. Time is needed to establish pathways so that the foundations are strong. So, what is the learning pathway in Hikawawa? Well, firstly, Hikawawa means at the source, the beginning, the bubbling brook. Children transition to school from ECE or home. They will meet Blanche and Michelle, who facilitate these punaako groups. Then, when they show readiness, they will transition to another punaako group with multi-age learners. They might see Jack, Leonie, Kaylee, Sana, Shannon, Justine, Rob or myself, Tara along with our two full-time release teachers, Joe and Claire. The next transition will be into Konuku, which begins at Year 4. So what does learning look like? Well, have a look at the diagram, and you will see different ways learning might be built on the strong foundation of relationships. It's all based around transdisciplinary learning, which is exploring issues and concepts that are meaningful to the learner. And we've chosen the following ways of providing transdisciplinary learning to children that allow for their individual need. First of all, play. Teachers pull out learning from the children's play. Play is children's work. Secondly, stations or provocations. Teachers set up equipment and ideas, stimulation that supports children's interests and moves them towards learning goals. Inquiry. This is playing with ideas and concepts and going deeper. And explicit teaching. Using the disciplines that flow through transdisciplinary learning, including social and emotional skills, reading, writing, numeracy, science and social studies. These are teacher-led through individual or small groups. Well, I'm sure you've got some more questions. Please find one of us. Please ask them. We're only too willing to have a think about it and to help further your understanding. Kia ora.